Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to an unboxing video of well, the stuff that you can see right in front of me that most of the internet is probably hyping over right now. If you're wondering why am I speaking so softly, um, it's mainly because um, just this morning I had an asthmatic attack and I'm not feeling that well. So yeah, that's why, do pardon me on my um, voice volume, I will try and do an editing um, of the audio in my software later on so that you guys can hear me clearly. So anyway guys, <clears throat> we're gonna take a look at the set alone. I did not order the um, limited edition Nintendo Switch for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee mainly because I already own a Switch. There wasn't really a need for me to obtain another one and even though no matter how good looking the Switch probably might be for some people, I didn't find the appeal for it. Um, I would love to own the Joy-Cons though. Um, Japan is going to sell the Joy-Cons as a separate accessory. Um, but the only thing you'll be probably losing out is the back design of the Nintendo Switch that has the Pokemon uh, crafted to the back of the screen. So yeah, anyways, <clears throat> we've gotten the Japanese sets of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, one of the reasons why I actually obtained the Japanese sets instead of the local English versions is mainly because the Japanese ones were cheaper in terms of the overall price. That includes the shipping process. Um, if I were to purchase these in English um, in my own country, I would probably be losing out um, almost $30 to $60 um, just buying them in English. <clears throat> Um, and funny thing is, the, the Japanese ones are released um, one day earlier than the, lo the local sets. The English ones are actually supposed to be released for the 17th of uh, November instead of the 16th. So the Japanese are getting the sets one day earlier. So surprisingly enough, as of this time that I'm videoing, um, recording this video, um, it's still the 16th of November um, 2018. So I did get my set exactly on the day that Japan was released because the retailer of Japan sent them out um, two days earlier uh, prior to the release date in Japan um, so that the items will re uh, be received from um, or rather the, the, the customers will receive the item exactly on the day of release that these items were meant to be released on which is fantastic good job Japan so I'm gonna open up one of these um, I'm gonna open up let's go Eevee because most of the people probably will be aiming towards Pikachu so I'm gonna to touch Eevee because I think Eevee is Probably the losing contender uh, in terms of popularity uh, of mascots. But personally to myself, I like Eevee more than Pikachu. I'm not biased towards um, the whole Pikachu fandom out there. Um, I like Pikachu because it's adorable and all that. Because it is, well, he is the main mascot for Pokemon. Um, but, you know, originally it was supposed to be Clefairy. <laughs> that aside, um, I actually prefer Eevee more than Pikachu um, because Eevee is just adorable in his, his her own way. So yeah, let's take a look at the contents of the Let's Go Pikachu in Eevee box set uh, that comes with the Pokeball Plus. So yeah, let's take a look at the box itself first. So the box does um, include jump, some instructions on what they are used for. So it is used as a stick controller like the Joy-Cons. You can, the center position of the ball where you press to enlarge the Pokeball, as you see in the animation, is actually a controller or joystick. Um, that's what most gamers would probably refer it to as. And of course, it does vibrate and light up when it comes to um, interacting with the Pokemon you're carrying that is loaded into the Pokeball's data. At the back, well, has all the images that you're probably very familiar with because it's all the information that has been seen through the trailers online. And of course, there is the mention of how you can actually play Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, you can play it docked with your TV. You can play it, of course, on the go with one or two players. Same thing as the TV. And of course, you can always play it on your, by yourself. Um, Pokemon has been a game that is known to be played alone. So this is the first of its kind that you actually have a two-player interactive um, in, in a single game. And of course, Nintendo Online is required for certain things when it comes to playing 
Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I guess it's to do with the trading and battle system online, I suppose. Um, who knows, maybe in the future uh, it is used for trading Pokemon to other versions of the games that's on the Nintendo Switch. And of course, lastly here, we have the images of the game, uh, Pokemon Plus, and well, they mentioned that um, Mew can only be obtained if you have bought the Pokeball Plus accessory so it lets you download Mew straight away into the game itself Alright, so let's open up the box at the bottom Well, basically there's only the, I guess the fossil images They are also familiar from the Kanto region So yeah, opening up the box So the good thing about this box is there is this U shape uh, here that you can actually use a thumb to pull open uh, so for those who are pretty fussy in terms of condition of the boxes this is gonna save your corners of the box uh, apparently I have some kind of dent here already but that's fine <laughs> so yeah um, pull out the game and then of course there is the internal um, brown box <clears throat> that's holding the Pokeball Plus so yeah, if you're wondering, do I actually need the Pokeball Plus to play Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? Um, we'll probably find out through the Let's Go series um, that I'm going to do on the channel itself. Uh, I would say it's not necessarily needed, but it would be probably an easier way or a cooler way to actually play the game. So yeah, um, I'm going to put the game aside first. I'm going to pull out the rest of the accessories. So it does come with cable. To charge a Pokeball Plus, it's a USB Type C. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. So if you've got if you've got cables that has USB C connection, I think you can use it to uh, charge your Pokeball Plus. It's not necessary. You have to use the one that is provided with you because the cable is a bit um, mid length. And it's not exactly very long. Yeah. So if you if you like long cables, I you could use your own um, cables out there. So, nicely red Pokeball Plus that comes um, with it. <clears throat> so, kudos to Japanese as always for protecting their goods. So, it does come with a strap. Uh, I think the strap is removable. I'm not wrong. I think you could remove it if you pull out this um, plastic piece. So, here we go. So, this is where the USB uh, charging port is um, to charge your Pokeball Plus. And apparently the strap is attached all the way in so there is really no way to remove the strap if you just want to use the Pokemon as it is so there you go if you press the Joy-Con controller it does light up I guess it's trying to detect the device uh, right now to connect it to all right so the strap is pretty interesting it has the standard stuff that um, let's say you can loosen it up to have it wrap around your wrist <coughs> <coughs> so yeah and then of course there's this ring um, for you to put your finger in there is a slit here so it allows free sizing so for people with big fingers like myself uh, it fits pretty snugly and of course the pokeball is of a tiny size now this size most of all are, mo most of us are probably familiar with this size mainly because this is actually the shrunken down size of the pokeball when you see in the animation um, so the trainers will actually press the button in the center you know, to have the Pokeball enlarged to its larger form to capture Pokemon. So yeah, so this is a very, very smart and creative design for the controller. We should have done this long ago, um, back for the old games. Um, but I guess they couldn't incorporate it into the gameplay uh, aspect of catching Pokemon because most of the time, you'll probably have to end up battling the Pokemon first before catching. Unlike for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you are straight away going in to catch the Pokemon just like Pokemon Go. So that's where the idea finally came to fruit. You have a Pokeball design shape um, to as a controller. So yeah, so the Pokeball Plus does have a bit of weight to it. It does feel heavy um, and it feels like there's something in your hand and doesn't feel fake. The material around the Pokeball, or rather is made from, um, it kind of has that matte feeling. So this kind of material does tend to get dirty if you drop it or even get struck, uh, scratched. I highly recommend you guys to purchase the Hori uh, protector for the Pokeball Plus accessory. Um, I'll have an image of the item right here and the link in the description of the item if you actually wish to purchase it. Um, 
to protect your accessory. Uh, definitely, I will get one for myself in the future. Um, I haven't. I have been contemplating on actually deciding to get the item or not because I wanted to see whether the Pokeball Plus um, really requires such an accessory or not. So from the looks of it, I think it is needed because I do not want to damage my Pokeball Plus accessory or get it dirty because the material is the kind that is very, very easily um, scratched and dirty um, if left out and open for too long. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave it here. And we're going to take a look at this, um, the game itself. We're going to open it up. So yeah. Um, as for which version of the game will I play, um, I'm going to choose accordingly to whichever versions of the game that is you know, mo most commonly played online right now. From the looks of it, most of the people who are streaming or recording the gameplay, they've all gone with Pikachu, so I'm going to probably go with Eevee for my channel because I, I, tr I want to try avoiding um, the main stereotypes. <laughs> I want to do something that is not really seen often. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my style. Um, I can't really get the plastic off. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Um, unboxing the game. I'm going to toss the plastic aside. Alright, so here we go. We're going to open it up. And straight away, we have pamphlets for advertisements and all that. So we do have pamphlets for the, the Pokemon Park. Um, that's gonna be inside the game later on um, yeah and of course straight uh, creatively enough I like how they included the Kanto region map as the back of the box so if you really get lost um, for new timer for new gamers who have never touched the old first gen Pokemon games I think they probably might get confused on the map so this might be useful for new players for older players, this is a very, very nice, wonderful thing to see because um, last time, Pokemon maps of the region were only exclusive to game guides. If you guys remember game guides back then, like, um, yeah, so game guides were a thing back then. People would buy them just to learn how to perfect the game. Uh, but because now that the internet is so efficient, um, game guides are now a thing of a past. And sadly to say, they are probably going to be non-existent anymore. So game collectors, I pity you guys. Um, I, I, I did buy game guides in the past because I get stuck in the games and I couldn't find out how to complete the game in a certain manner. Yeah, so game guides were very crucial back then. So of course, the, the, the uh, disc for the game is in Japanese because this is the Japanese version of the game. So yeah, um, if you are trying to save money, I would highly recommend you guys to purchase the game in Japanese because Nintendo or rather the Pokemon games have been well known for having um, language options. So yeah, if you guys want to save a bit of money uh, wherever you are, you can purchase the games in your local country if they do have discounts. Well, Black Friday is coming up so maybe you can purchase this, uh, purchase the game off Black Friday sales or maybe wait until Christmas to have it. Um, and of course, you might want to consider purchasing the Nintendo Switch Limited Edition Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu set. Um, if not, my other option to you guys is to import the game from Japan. It is cheaper um, quite a bit, um, and including the shipping. It is definitely going to save you some money. Um, but of course, it varies depending on um, which part of the world you are from. Um, yeah, so go give, give the, the Japanese sites a look. Uh, it might end up being cheaper in terms of purchasing the Japanese version rather than buying the English ones. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's pretty much it. That's the look, the, the inside look of the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee box set um, for with the po uh, Monster Ball. Uh, yeah, Monster Ball is what they call in Japanese instead of Pokeball. A Monster Ball Plus set. So guys, um, let me know in the comments down below um, which version did you purchase? Did you buy the regular edition of the game? Or did you buy, like me, the Monster Ball uh, Pokeball Plus set? Or did you guys actually purchase for yourself the limited edition uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Nintendo Switch set? 
I would love to find out from you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, um, if you guys don't know about it yet, I have actually set up a YouTube page on Facebook for myself. Um, so yeah, that is also in the description down below. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are as, as, as excited as I am to play Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. Uh, I, do, I will definitely play both of them. Um, I'll be using Eevee for the... Uh, channel because most of the people online are using Pikachu so let's have a different perspective of the Let's Go game. Anyway guys I'll see you guys soon in the Let's Go Eevee gameplay. Thank you guys. Bye!